What's going on guys, it's Adam Wayfair and in today's video I'm going to be talking about things we did in primary school, part 3. Let's do this. <laughs> There were some very embarrassing moments in primary school and one of the most embarrassing things we've probably all done is call a teacher mum. Yeah mum, can I get my, me, miss, miss, miss Smith, my, fucking hell. As soon as you call your teacher mum, no one would let it down, your friends would always take the piss. Oh look, it's your mum. Uh, you called her mum. Uh, it's hilarious. Yeah. Great banda. No primary school party was complete without a plate full of these bad boys. Party range! They were so good. Now, because I was a top slag when I was about five years old, I used to get a party ring, give it to a girl, and be like, do you want to stick your finger in the party ring? Then eat it off, you kinky slut. When you leave the party, you have to collect your party bag, you know, full of shit. Like, literally, it's just a, a piece of cake left over in a little napkin. You get a little bit of their little a balloon. The mum's tampon, you know. And that was just me, shit. I kind of miss parties back in the day, you know, I like cake. I want cake, I don't want, I don't want endless fanny coming at me these days. You know, I want to break something. <laughs> Fucking hell. Now, I don't know if this was just my primary school, but it happened in my high school as well. So I think it's quite a reoccurring thing. And it's, I think it's karma trying to get back at me. But in primary school, there was that dog that, you know, got into the playground and chased everyone and you shat yourself. Like there was a security breach in the fence and then the dog runs in and you're all shitting yourself like you've just seen Godzilla. And you're like screaming. No, it's like you've never seen a dog in your life, but we are like five and it could probably kill us and maul our face off, but that's besides that. No, it is the point. It was scary shit, mate. You know you were a badass if you had one of these. <laughs> because, you know, they were, they were the smoking devices of the 19th century. Even back then, smoking was seen as cool. We were about five. We were oblivious to the harms that it does, so we'd get these little packets of sweets and be like, do you want to... Do you want a fag, mate? Oh yeah, Johnny, mate. We're, we're fucking rebels today. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit sugary, isn't it? Yeah, well, maybe we should get Malbora next time. But then when it's cold, you use your breath to make it look real, and everyone's shitting themselves because they're like, "Whoa, wait, there's actually smoke coming out his mouth. It's ganja." I'm only ten. Now I don't know about you, but I had a car when I was about seven. Uh, you know, it was a German whip. Obviously. See man driving a German whip. But everyone's had one of these bad boys. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, they were your first car and it was, you've either been in your friend's car, you know, he's dropped you off somewhere. You're like, where are you going, Steve? He's going down to the playground. You now hop a ride in his little shagmobile. I tried to get in one of them the other day. I had to call the fire brigade to get me out. I just mentioned how fucking happy this kid looks. Look how happy he is. He's, oh, he's great, isn't it? Look at me, you fucking sloth. Yeah, I'm in my own German whip. Ha ha, broom, broom. Now, in, in primary school, we used to have the best banter ever. You know, if, if Lab Bible was around, we'd be on it every day. But everyone seemed to use this one joke. It was the most hilarious joke there ever was. Dyla. What? Stinks. See, that was just one of the insane jokes I used to crack, but there was another one. Be prepared for it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor who? Hey! I think one of the scariest things a kid could say in primary school was, I'm telling on you. You're a cunt. I'm telling on you. I'm a cunt. I think in high school, we have this whole, you know, obsession with normal chewing gum, you know, minty chewing gum. But in primary school, it was all about hubba bubba. Hubba bubba. That is the most annoying word ever. Hubba bubba. I used to get every single piece of hubba bubba and put it in my mouth. And then it just be, I don't know why I did it. I was a weird kid, but it would make my cheeks go really big. I'd be like, it's bubba bubba. Right. I probably mentioned this in a previous video, but there was always that one kid chewing on their jumper sleeve. Like, are oh, you a dickhead? But yeah, there was just this kid, you know, just chewing on his sleeve and you could see it all chewed and just disgusted it. I did that. That was me. You see nowadays when you're being rude, you just say, oh, sorry for being rude or pardon me, you know, something, you know, polite. But in primary school, they made us do the most extra thing. It, it was just so long, it longed out the whole thing. It's effort, what they made us do. Pardon me for being rude, it was not me, it was my food. It popped up to say hello and then it went back down below. Basically, I just fucking burped, mate and it stank. Like nowadays, I don't sing a bloody song saying I'm sorry, I'm just like, that was me. I burped and sharted and shat and vomited everywhere, mate. 
and it really did stink. But I'm proud. I'm proud of me burps and farts. In primary school, we had these really cool indoor climbing frames, but you know, they made me shit myself when I'm at the top. You know, climbing these climbing frames, you felt like an absolute tank going to the top. You're like, yep, yeah, look at me, peasants, I'm Spider Man. Because I was a top player, as you obviously know, you know. <laughs> I know, I know. I took the girl that I liked up to the top of the uh, the, the climbing frame. No, I didn't push her off. It wasn't uh, a murder. But I took her to the top of it and I uh, sang a song, a particular song. It went like this. I can show you the world, big like my penis. <laughs> Red Banda. Well anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave it a cheeky thumbs up and share it around your friends who you think would enjoy it and can relate to some of the things that we all did in primary school. Also check out my gaming channel and subscribe to that. I'm gonna be doing daily gaming videos on there from now on. I haven't uploaded in a year, but I uploaded one last night. I uploaded one tonight, so there'll be a video and loads of videos for you to watch on there. So go and subscribe, link in the description below. Anyways, I will see you in my next video. Peace out, dickheads.